Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Kisses from CZT Adelaide Bruno. And I am dedicating this to all of my crazy, wonderful Tangle Addicts family kisses for uh, last uh, last Thursday and even and before. Um, and you know, and you know, <laughs> so anyway, I was like going, this is, this was perfect as I was looking for uh, inspiration and I'm like, yes, we're going to do this one. All right. And we'll have to make mental, actually I'll put this on the, in the Valentangle playlist, uh, because it's like, it would be perfect for that too. All right. And this one, it, this is nicely. It's kind of on the easy-ish side. All right, starts off with um, a row of curved lines. And I'm debating, well, you know what? I'm going to start it right here at the bottom. Then we'll see if I get brave and we'll uh, make it uh, more of a fill-in. Okay, so curved lines, of course. However, you know, big you want to make them. And... And there we go. Um, yeah, I, just, I was just looking back to say, like, did I, should I have made them not as shallow? I hadn't been as I was playing with it. And, I, and every once in a while, I have to go back and look uh, at step outs just to like, yeah, you know, I got that. Okay, good. So, and you don't, you don't have to do them all in one stroke if you don't like to. You could do one and then, you know, stop, pick up your pen, do another, whatever you're comfortable with. Now, the next one, so we're, the next step. We're going to do it the opposite direction, but you know what? I'm going to do it this way so I can see better. This and well, no, either, either way. I'm not, I guess if I did it this way, I would work with my natural curve. Uh, if they're small, sometimes I do that and sometimes I don't. I'm going to make these a little further apart than I did in my step out. I kept wanting to like compact them, but I'm going to try it a little bit bigger. Now what you're going to do is look eyeball about halfway and it's the same thing yeah I said I was gonna try to uh -huh. the pen just does what the pen does so this way the um, you'll see that these are are shifted doesn't have to be perfect don't even worry about it and I start off in the middle because that way it's like oh well then I know I'm gonna go until I run out of room and then I do the same thing the other way all right next step uh, pick, well I'll say I'm gonna pick this one here, we're going to just do S shapes. So, uh, and uh, you know, what? on my step out, I divided this just so that way you could see uh, what the, sh what the shape is, it, if it helps. Um, and if it doesn't help, you can just skip right down to the next step. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start here and kind of an S shape going down to, uh, the point this would this would be the peak and this would be the valley so however whichever way you want to think about it these points right here where the curve lines end and begin and I'm doing all the same shape like that and then you know as I run it off the page oh that one can end and that yeah okay <laughs> actually that looks like they look like uh, jelly beans now you don't have to do it like this, you could do one and then coming from that same point and go to the other side. It is so it would just be the the mirror of what you did here. It's also in you know the onion dome look, right? But because of the way this is constructed, I wouldn't um, no a lot of times I do the onion dome in one uh, one uh, one stroke sort of it, it depends but this one just like i said because of the way it was constructed it's just oh s is shape here s shape going the other way and there you go next all right so looking at it you know whichever way you have decided is up so looking at at these the these uh li well the little straight lines here that have been created we're just going to come off and do a little spiral just a little this, I would definitely use the takeoff and land because see right here, it got a little off. 
So taking off and landing means you're tracing over a little bit right here and then go out and do the spiral versus like, I'm just going to do a spiral there. Now, here's the one thing that I noted because my first thought was, oh, let's turn the tile and we do the same thing again. But the way Adelaide has this on there, it's not that way. Although I think if you did it, it probably wouldn't matter. But we're going to do it the way she has it here. And so keeping it the same way, we're going to come down to um, the, the middle of these curve lines right here. And, and we're going to just spiral it off towards the center. So they're kind of going in the same, <laughs> the same tree. See me pointing? That's <laughs> this way. Yeah, because like if you're looking at each of these little little mini straight lines up in here in between these, <laughs> it's really hard to talk with your hands when you have this much room. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, but I think you get it. So, uh, and so don't don't turn the tile like we might normally do, you know, and flip it. So it's gonna be it, it's just coming the opposite direction if we're doing it that way, and that is it. Except then you can decorate, shade. Uh, Adelaide has some really nice samples. So do take a look at the For More Inspiration link. Um, I like what she did. I'm going to go ahead and do it. You could do this with, uh, let's see, what, hold on. Um, oh, I see. Oh, okay. You know what? Ooh, I'm going to do this two different ways. And then we'll see if we expand this. Okay, because I didn't, I didn't look closely. So as a thought you could kind of aura this and make it look like a big spiral. Kind of auraing that whole shape. And this starts looking like the, the Hershey's Hugs candy. And then I'm going to flip it the other way and decorate it a different way. Or, or, but wait, let's just try something. Okay, so we're going to leave that. That looks super cute. Now, Adelaide shows on hers that you could do this kind of as a fill-in. Now, I am going to turn my tile and, yep. And I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm, I'm just turning it just for ease of doing things. And let's see, does she have them touch? Oh, kind of. So we're going to be still alternating this one. So essentially uh, repeating this. And let's see, I sort of started at the edge here. It's not perfect is not, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, that works. And then coming the other way. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did. Well, let's jump it up a little bit higher. You know what I love about this is it can it can be whimsical and it's all good. All right. Now, same idea. It's not going to matter which way I do this, but I'm going to do it this way. Oh, and let me just show. So you could do all of them like I did down here. Or if you want to do each individual one, if that, you know, helps you, because you're, for me, it did kind of confuse my eyeballs just a smidge doing it the other way. So that's why I like to, it, it confused it in one way, and then in another way, I kind of liked doing it like that. Okay, now we're going to just, uh, well, I didn't give myself much room here, did I? But that's all right. These ones, because of the height, it, it got a little melty. It's not like M&M's that melt in your mouth, not in your hands. <laughs> All right. And just a little one. And I like this that she did. Oh, and you know what? I'm going to do it with a little bit. Let's do it with a little bit thicker pen. Okay. And this... She just, it's kind of like auraing this curve a little bit and leaving a gap. So that's like the sparkle, sort of. 
And then we'll also add and leaving the top ones just kind of empty. Another thing that she did when she did it this way is that she did fill in these gaps. And I'm like, ooh, how neat. It's nice because you can use it as a border or like this as a, as a fill in. That certainly helps the look of it. <laughs> and looking, yeah, yeah my, my, th these curve lines ended up being a little bit more flat than, than hers, but it's all good. That helps. Super neat. So then, if you wanted to add a little bit of shading, and so on, on her sample, she left the top ones open so that way you can really see these. And um, I like the idea of, I'm just going to put some shade, some graphite here on the, whatever that is, the <laughs> left hand lower side of them. And just I'm, you know, spreading it out. Oh, I like that. Same thing. Well, here, not there, because that's kind of a partial there. <laughs> neat. Neat, neat. Now, so, so some things that you could do, could leave those just as they are. Or... Why not give them some depth, too? I'm just using what's left on my tortillon. Oh, yes. Because I, I, I like the idea of having this, these be a lighter graphite. and So that there's just a little bit of difference in those. It, it kind of makes, it, 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 adds, it adds extra dimension using just kind of different shades of the gray like that. Oh, super neat, super cute. <laughs> Makes me uh, find the need, to, I need to go find some chocolate now. All right, so if you enjoyed this, before you run out to go get some chocolate, um, would if you enjoyed it, would love to have you click like. Uh, feel free to, if you liked it, to see more, uh, to hit that subscribe button. And feel free to share it and leave comments and all of that. I appreciate all of those, any of any and all of those activities as it helps to get uh, get the word out about uh, my crazy channel. Um, in the description section, you will find links to the step outs. I always do my own version. And then link to the creator of the tangle. So you will see that I, let, I list that as for more inspiration because that's why it's there. Because there's generally... Um, they have, you know, all kinds of neat uh, samples. It just depends on, on the creator. Um, so I like to make sure that you have that. Uh, below there are, is my a link to my website, a link to my Facebook page. So if you happen to be on Facebook, would love to have you follow me there. Uh, and also, if you're interested in hanging out with a bunch of crazy Tangle addicts, would love to have you uh, uh, join our uh, private membership uh, group, our private Facebook group page. Oh, I also, I have I've got my, my words mixed up. I do have a membership club. That's different. I do classes almost twice weekly. You'll find that on my website. And if you, um, if you think you're going to take a class once, once a month, it will, it will more than pay for itself because I do at least two classes a month, uh, for the membership club. And, um, it's $25 a month and you basically get all access. So, uh, so check it out. If you like, come check us out for free though, first, because we do like to have a lot of fun and, uh, you know, you want to make sure it's a good fit. And, uh, I like to think we are, but you know, that's up to you. <laughs> so anyway, 
Thanks so much for watching, and I wish you happy tangling.